Good morning world. It is a foggy, foggy morning when I woke up this morning and didn't have my glasses on. I thought it was raining or something. I could tell. I couldn't tell it was fog right away. But it's just fog. It's a little chilly. A bit calm of a morning. Alex has left for work and I'm going to get breakfast and then I have a doctor's appointment at like 10.30 I think. So I've got a little bit of time before then. Right, I have got to get ready now so that I'm not late for my appointment, because that would be bad. They've already had to reschedule on me twice now, so if I'm late, it's going to be extra bad. Okay, we are ready to go. I just put my hair up and I literally, I'm just grabbing handfuls of hair behind me. It's just ridiculous how much hair I lose every day. I'm surprised I still have it on my head. I'm going to put in a pair of earrings. I think I want to put in like these. I think that would be great. I just think it's a little bit much. I think out of my Halloween ones, I'm just going to put in these little orange ones. There we go. They are in. It's kind of like fitting with the black and the orange and the Halloween, right? Yes. It is such a gorgeous, gorgeous day out. Like, no clouds in the sky now. It was foggy this morning. Nothing. The temperature is beautiful in the shade. I should probably have a jacket on. In the sun, I am okay. Oh yeah, but I gotta go in now. I always, like, this is just an appointment because I haven't seen this specific doctor in a while. But you still get those, like, nervous butterflies, even though there's, like, nothing going on. It just happens. Okay, it is done and over with, and now I'm walking back down the super long hallway. I did have to get blood drawn just as like a precaution and to just check up on some things. And the guy was really good. I guess he was a combat phlebotomist, so he was out on, you know, um, military fields and doing it then. So he kind of knows what he's doing, thankfully, because it was nice. I'm not going to take the elevator, I'm going to take the stairs. <laughs> But hopefully all is good. They didn't really have to do a whole lot. And all in all, good appointment. I'm gonna have to be picking a new PCP pretty soon because that office is actually closing. So it's gonna be like a whole other slew of things will be happening with that. But for now, I'm back out in the beautiful weather. Oh, I can't even take it. Just, you know, it's not raining. It had been raining the past few days and now it's not raining, so it's awesome. I'm finally going to mail this freaking video to my cousin who I was supposed to mail it to her before she had her baby, but um, he's like four months old now, two months old. He's two months old. I don't know. I can't math right now. Ugh, so I'm finally going to get that out to her today. Okay. Let's see how long the line is at the post office today. It is noon, so everybody's probably on their lunch break, so it's probably pretty long, but hopefully it speeds along nicely. Fingers crossed, hopefully. Oh my gosh, this is unheard of. There is no line. Silly, silly me. I was going to write a note to put into the envelope and forgot. So now I'm just gonna walk next door because I don't want to buy like stationery in the post office because it can be pretty expensive. So I'm going to walk right next door to TJ Maxx, which I was going to go to anyway, to get something and grab something to write a little note to add into this. Hopefully it'll be less expensive. My good god, look at this. Already. Already with the Christmas stuff. It's October 5th. Okay? Okay, I found what I needed there. I found some cards, maybe bought a shirt. I'm like the worst at impulse buying, or maybe the best at impulse buying, I guess. Depends on what end of the spectrum you're looking at. Like, I see it, I try it on, it fits, it works, I love it. Okay, I bought it. But they didn't have a little, like, crock. So I have a camembert cheese that I want to cook in the oven, but I don't have a crock for it. And they didn't have one next door, so I'm gonna see if there's a one of those here. And then I need Gina, some little, like, command hook 
sticky things so I can put that wreath on my door from yesterday. Okay, they did not have the little camembert crop that I was looking for in there, and they didn't have it in TJ Maxx. So, I'm a little curious. I mean, honestly, maybe Target might have it. Um, or there's like a kitchen shop in town that might have it, but I didn't think it would be so hard to find. And I feel like they are normally in like the TJ Maxx Marshalls home goods stores, but I just, it's always like luck of the draw when you go there. So not there. Now I need to write my little letter to go in my little mailer so I can finally mail it. And now of course there was no line when I was in there the first time. So there's probably gonna be a big line this time. Awesome, I got it and the line was not long at all, thankfully. I only stood there for like two minutes and it's out and it did not cost me very much. I think it cost me like maybe three, four dollars to do the whole thing. So that was awesome. And they said it's gonna be there on Saturday, which if it does get there on Saturday, that'll be even better because it'll be like their day off from work. So it was a video. I don't know if I said that. It was a video that I sent my cousin and so they'll be able to chill and hopefully enjoy it. I'm nervous, I don't know, okay. Let's see if we can find this croc at Target. I think is going to be my next goal. Okay, so since it's proving to be very difficult to find this little dish that I want, I'm abandoning that. And I'm just going to look up some little, like, command foam squishy strips so I can hang that wreath. I just came home to change real quick for practice. Make myself a little road sandwich because I am, like, feeling weak. I'm so hungry. Not good. Waited a little while. Too long for lunch, but now I'm gonna grab all my gear, all my stuff, and head to practice. Okay, mm I am back home now. The dishwasher is on and super loud and annoying. Both Alex and I are going through a bit of food tantrums. So we have a blue apron. Alex um, already unpacked it and uh, put everything in the fridge and put everything away. And we just can't decide, like, we want something fresh, but we want something warm, but we want something good. We don't wanna make it, but we want, aw. Oh. We're having a giant fit, so we're just having regular old pasta and sauce. Go figure. And I've got two different pots going because Alex wants one kind of pasta and I want another kind of pasta. So, we're just whipping it up. Okay, so after eating dinner, there was nothing on TV, nothing in our recording, so I started going ham on the house and Alex very joyously and graciously on my part, joined me. So, um, this area has been vacuumed. The entire kitchen has been cleaned up. There's a bunch of dishes. The dishwasher was done. That room is done. Picked up in here. Cleaned the whole everything. Alex washed the windows. And cleaned off some of the dining room table stuff. There's still a little bit on the stairs. But I'm not even mad. Like, things are just picked up pretty decently. Hence all the allergicness because it just stirs up so much dust and I'm super allergic to all kinds of dust. But now it is late. It's like 10 something, 10 something. So we are going to head to bed and I will see you guys tomorrow.